Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 157. If project is finished, mark all records in green. Well, hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. We have a data set up here and uh, the question is down here uh, from uh, YouTube. In the first column, there's IDs of five different projects and there's duplicates and the status has changed, you know, from start to finish, start to correction, uh, you know, and so on. And if any one of those records is marked as finished. We want to change the color to all of the records uh, to be green. All right, and so I'm going to do this using conditional formatting. And you know, like Mike suggests, it's best to build the conditional formatting formula off to the side to make sure that it's working first. So I'm going to use the new count ifs function in Excel. We're going to look through all of the ID codes in column A. I'll press F4 to lock that down and see if it is equal to this ID code and F4 three times to lock it down to the column. Then look through all of the statuses in column C, F4 there, and in quotes, see if it's equal to finish. All right, and what this is going to do for us is count how many times this ID code appears with the word finish. And it's probably going to be either 0 or 1. It's unlikely that something would be in there with a finish of twice, although I guess it would be possible. Uh, for that to happen. So once we have the formula working and uh, we're going to copy everything from the edit mode here, control C, we'll go back and select all of our cells, alt O D. We're going to create a new rule and use a formula and just paste that rule in there. It's really important that that rule is written from the point of view of cell A2, the top left corner cell, and in this case it is. Uh, so a nice little format there, fill. I'm going to choose this green, click OK, click OK, click OK, and any of the projects that are finished are now marked as finished. If this one would change to finish, you see that all of those get marked as finished. So there you go, conditional formatting. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Oh, you get the point. Count ifs. That is a beautiful solution. And what's so cool is it doesn't matter how this data set is sorted, it'll always get the right conditional formatting. Now, I tried this a bunch, a bunch of different things, and I did not think to use count ifs. All right, um, so if this column is sorted, we can use a different formula. But if we unsort it, I'll show you that it doesn't work. Hey, and I'm noticing that this is sorted, right? And the word finished is always going to be the last entry for whatever particular code this is. So I'm going to use the lookup function. Now lookup, this is an H or V lookup. This is just straight lookup that only does approximate match lookup. So I'm going to look that up. I'm going to have to hit the F4 key one, two, three times to lock the column but not the row. Because remember, in the conditional formatting dialog box, we have to copy it over to lock that way, but down, let it move relatively. Now, lookup. I'm going to use the vector and the result vector. The lookup vector, bloop, if I highlight this right here and hit F4, that means lookup will find this particular item, the position of the last one. Because it's sorted, we're doing approximate match. It'll always find the position of the last one. That's what that lookup vector does. It's kind of like match, right? But result vector, F4, that's the range that has the value you want to go and get. So right now, the lookup vector will find position 1, 2, because that ID is the last one. The result vector will give me the finished. Let's go ahead and enter this, Control Enter. Copy it down and over, and look at that. It's given me finished everywhere. Now I've highlighted this. I'm going to hit the F2 key for the active cell, and I'm going to edit this formula and say, hey, whenever you're equal to finish. Remember, this formula will only work if it's sorted. Control Enter to populate all the, all the way through. So you can see we get our trues, our one. Here's our the count if, right? The count ifs. And by the way, the one or the true and false, it'll all be interpreted correctly by the conditional formatting dialog box. So now I'm highlighted that top corner cell, copied it, highlighted, Alt O D, Alt N, arrow, 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 tab, Control V, and then apply some formatting like uh, green or something. Click OK. And if the other ones need to be orange, I'll just highlight 
everything and the ones that are not conditionally formatted will have the orange. The only problem with this formula and the benefit of this formula is if this is sorted on date, well, this is working fine, but not this formula, control Z. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. All right, Mike, anytime you pull up that old lookup function, I know we're in for a ride. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel, and Excel is fun.